What's up, guys? It's your boy Giotinho bringing you a long, a long awaited game I've been waiting for. Uh, fucking justice all about more combat. Bringing you like a little review and leaks, you know. And I guess review the trailer. Now, I thought the trailer was fucking amazing. I didn't even know this, they came out. On the, the the Game Awards show, and so my brother was like, "Oh, you saw the new trailer?" I was like, "Nah, Stamba." And the first time I saw it, I was blown away, blown away more than the MKX trailer. Now there are some things here where they hint, because I remember MKX they hinted stuff in like in-game, like the weapons interactives. And this one, it's like they're showing these close-ups. Look, nothing but close-up moves. Look at that. And you see Scorpion, how he has like so much fucking Kitanas. He has two Kitanas, I think. Either two or three Kitanas on him. Now, that could be hinting that they might use a weapons. And I think they said they're still using variations. And maybe uh, uh, one of the variations can be weapons. Or maybe they're not doing variations. They're just having a slot, like a, like a second style like in the old games. Like Armageddon, where you have a, a different style to switch to. But who knows? Maybe they're just special moves. Now also, we're bringing costumes like uh, like an Injustice. Because right here, look. You see the Scorpion died, and then bam. You see it's like MK3 with the chest, and then you got the MK2 type, type mask. And look at that, he has a Kitana. Like, that one has two swords also. That's either uh, like a default for Scorpion, or that could be something else. And then you got this right here. Now I'm... S I wonder who this is. I the people say it's a girl, but to me it looks like a guy because you know it's bald. But a lot of people say it's a girl and say that it could be Elder God, or they're also in, they're also saying that that's the person from Jade's uh, ending. I think it was. We're gonna talk about the whole lot, but let's talk about this. You see, you see my boy Show Khan. You see his arm as a fucking. It's like I don't know what the fuck that is. Like I, it's transmute. Like it's fused with something else. Maybe. It's pre-order bonus, so it won't be in the story, of course. Or well, maybe it would, who knows. Like, it, it's like Dragon Scale-ish, Tarkadin maybe, who knows. It looks fucking cool. So, people are saying that it's, this is like the character from Jade's Mystery Woman. Now, she could play a, a major story, a major part of the story, where she's looking through time. I mean, look, she has like an hourglass right there. Either time is going in reverse, or she's looking through the future. I don't know, that made no sense. But look behind her, it's all... It's all weird looking. Like, uh, what is it? Like, I'm I'm so confused because it's just there's just so much. That's that's so very little that they gave us. Maybe they go. They're hinting at time traveling. Like, this is some adventures type shit, man. Like, when you saw the trailer for Adventures, shit, that's coming in April too, man. Shit, April, everything's coming out this April. But yeah, they could be hinting at, at traveling. Maybe she's she's looking through time. Like, alright, guys, you know, go through this time period and fix that shit up. Or because like have you seen the have you seen the, in the beginning of the trailer? It's like it's the the Shang Tsung's uh, like place where they fought like in the first one of combat where everybody's just standing there sitting down looking at the fights. Everybody's decayed. It's not they're not dead. But who knows if that's part of the story now? But yeah, everybody's like just they are dead. Like grayish, de they're decaying. They're not you know killed. I I think the guard was killed, but the monks they were just there. Decaying, like are they? Is it an apocalyptic type future period? Who knows? Maybe they go to the future and it's all apocalyptic because of Raiden. They didn't stop Raiden. Now right here, I think that's a different Scorpion right there, where he just kicked them. Either that, or that's just a guard. But right now, I was just reading up. I got a notification that time traveling is part of the story. So okay, so you see how that Scorpion looks kind of classic. Boy, it, it's basically classic. Maybe that's that's why the, it's he's there, cause they go back in time to, to like the first like two Mortal Kombat games. In this article I'm reading right now, it says the official sets to the stage for an epic time bending story and features an original. Well, okay, well there you go. It just says it features 21 Savage, but the, I mean the the story's there now. It's just that lady in the end, she's part of the story. So that's pretty much. A time bending story. It's it's the Avengers basically. You could also tell it's probably a time bending story, but you know, this is just based off the trailer. Scorpion didn't go in his like inferno mode, you know, showing his skull. 
the one that he just Raiden just killed because you know he's, he's now Han Hanzo Hisashi but this one look turns on to the inferno just like nothing maybe that's just a move or a fatality because you know that's just Mortal Kombat and end of the trailer but maybe that's they, they're also hinting that there it was a time banning story the whole time as it was just confirmed right now because he just Raiden killed Hanzo which is still Scorpion but you know, Scorpion, Scorpion just killed Raiden. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like back in the days, you know, well, whatever. If you're a hardcore fan, you know what I'm talking about. Now they were also saying that they would have like a co-op online, like like in Shell and Monks, which is like an adventure game. They said there that was gonna be a separate mode where you could tag along with your friend, like a one to two player. You know, they they also say it was also a drop in, but that's basically like another mode like a big ass mode. Mortal Kombat hasn't had that in forever like a big old mode all they had was either online and arcade the next thing you know what they, the biggest thing they ever had was just the 300 challenge thing that was the biggest thing they ever had most likely but now they have adventure mode if that's really true do you know how fun it is it'll be like a beat em up basically just you, you kill a lot of people and gain XP with your friend getting new armor for your character okay that's that's pretty much all guys, uh, thanks for watching the video, thanks for listening to me. But before I go, the characters, I also forgot to say, they said that Johnny Cage, Sonya, Ferritor, Melina, and Baraka were 100% not playable. I could care less because they're not my characters, it's about the Kung Lao. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Kung Lao's a shit. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, think, comment what you think. Or what they got to do with the game. But yeah, you know. See you guys later. See you guys next time.